Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my free training on On One Photo Raw 2019. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to crop your image with the crop tool that's found in On One Photo Raw 2019. Now, just looking at this image, I'd like to tighten it up a little bit, maybe crop it down and over a touch. Also, it's crooked and I need to straighten it. All of that is done with the crop tool. To get to the crop tool, we must go to the edit panel. Right now I'm in the browse panel. So I'm gonna to go to the far right and click where it says edit. So we're in the edit panel. Now, one thing I like to do, if I'm not gonna use any presets, why have this left panel open? So I'm gonna hide that left panel. Over here in the very lowest left-hand corner of the screen, click on that icon down there and we'll hide the left panel. And you can see that it really made the image bigger and we maximized our workspace. And it really does help us process an image when we could see more of the image. Now, I want to crop the image. Go to the left-hand tool well. The crop tool is the second tool from the top. Click on it to activate it. You'll see a rule of thirds grid overlay appears on the image. That's to help you crop your image to that compositional rule. And that helps a lot. In this case, I don't think I really need it, but it's there if we need it. Now, up at the top are the tool attributes. By default, you'll, know, you'll usually be in freeform. Freeform is great. To, it allows you to crop your image to your creative vision. For example, I could just grab this handle and you'll notice there's handles in each corner and handles in the middle horizontally and the middle vertically. So if I grab this top handle in the middle and just pull down, you can see I'm kind of making it a, a more panoramic type view. I could grab this one on the left and pull in. So I could really crop this to my creative vision. That's awesome. But the problem with that is if you want to print this, it may not print properly on standard sized printer paper. It'll print, it's either going to have borders or it's going to zoom in so it's a borderless print and you're going to lose some of the pixels. So it's not always best to use freeform crop. Again, it's great to express your creative vision, but it's not so great if you want to print the image. So I'm going to reset it by clicking that reset button. And if I go to this drop down, you can see that there's the original ratio. Now this was shot with a DSLR that is a three to two or two to three, if you prefer, ratioed sensor. And now if I grab this handle, let's say right here, it's gonna hold that ratio. So you can see I can't really make that panorama anymore. It's gonna stay to that two to three ratio. The two to three ratio will print a perfect borderless eight by 12, 16 by 24. So that is the ratio you'd like to use that is a three to two or two to three ratio if you're going to print like an eight by 12 16 by 24 whatever is a two to three or three to two ratio that will work perfectly now there's more to choose from uh, there is a square image so if you're going to print a square image that's it when you grab any handle it's going to stay square no matter what no matter which handle you grab i'll reset that the more, most common is probably 4x5, or if you prefer, 5x4. That prints a perfect 8x10, 16x20, um, anything in that, again, 4 to 5 ratio. And any handle you grab, it's going to keep that ratio. Now, when I pick one of these ratios, like the original 2 to 3 ratio, you'll notice to the right it has width is 3 and height is 2. That's the actual ratio. You could come in and put in your own ratio. So you could put 3 to 3, which is going to be square, right? Oops, let me put it in there. 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 That's square. Um, I go back here and put 2, and then that's the 2 to 3. So you could come in and you could just put in the ratio you'd like, if you prefer to do it that way. You'll also notice when it's says original ratio it doesn't have in this case this is a three to two ratioed sensor this image is three to two but it's showing the actual pixel count when we use original ratio if you did the math 
that would be in a three to two ratioed uh, image. So you could just punch in the actual pixels you want to use. Maybe your you know, client requires something 4,500 by 3,000 pixel uh, crop, and you could do that here. So that allows you to just put in the actual pixel numbers if you prefer. Um, most people don't do that, tell you the truth. So in this case, as I mentioned, I think I want to stay with the 2 to 3 ratio, but I just want to tighten it up a little bit. So I'm just going to pull it in from the top and just kind of center it a touch. So just like that. So I think that is pretty good. Now when I'm done, you click Apply, and it applies the crop to your image. But I had this other issue, right? The image is crooked. So I'm going to open that crop tool up again. And there is actually a couple different ways you could go about straightening the image. The first way is with this level tool. If you click that, you'll make it active and your cursor will turn into that little level icon. And this works great whenever anything is in your image that should be perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical. In a case of a landscape image, that most often will be the horizon line. It should be perfectly horizontal. In this case, I have a horizon line I could see. So what I would do is I go to one far end, like over here, just on the side of this break wall. You don't have to go all the way to the end. You just could go somewhere over here and put that little arrow right on the horizon line. Click with the left mouse button and hold that mouse button in. Then you're going to be drawing a line. See, we've got this line. And put the line at the other end of the horizon. And just let go. And see how it automatically straightened the image. Now that would work for a vertical object too. So if you had something that you know was perfectly plumb vertical, you could draw along that vertically and it will straighten the image as well. So that's one way to straighten the image. Well, very often we don't have a very clear horizon line in our image to do that type of straightening. So we have to do something else. What you could do is you could click this little drop down here and go to this slider and spin it and put that on whatever it is, you know, just eyeball it. And you notice as soon as you do that, you get this tight grid. And that tight grid will help you straighten as well. So you could use that grid to straighten your image. So you could do that. Or if you prefer, if you put your cursor on the image, you'll notice that it's an arrow, right? Well, if I come off to either the left or the right, I'll do it to the left. If I come off the image to the left, eventually that cursor will turn into this circular arrow. When that happens, click with the left mouse button, you'll get that tight grid again, and then you could drag up or down to straighten the image that way. So you're just eyeballing it, but it does work very well. You just kind of eyeball your image and straighten it that way. So that usually works real well. You can actually just type a number in here, like negative six or something, if you know, but I mean, that is difficult to do. Now, a couple other things I want to talk about the crop tool. So we got it straight and everything, and we talked about the ratios and all that. But this is a horizontal crop. What if I just want to crop this vertically? Now, I probably wouldn't because the sun rays over here and whatever. But if I did, right here where these double arrows are, click on that, and you'll flip the crop to a vertical crop. And then it's still keeping this 3 to 2 ratio. So any handle I grab will keep that ratio. Okay. So I'm going to hit Command Z to back out of that a couple times. It's not letting me, so I'll just hit that double arrow again, and it's made it smaller. But let's kind of fix it real quick. Whoa. There's that. Yeah, let's say we like that, all right, just for the sake of speed. So if you want to flip it vertically, click on those double arrows. If you want to flip the entire image clockwise, click right there and you'll get that clockwise. You keep clicking, you'll keep spinning it clockwise until you're back to where you started. If you click this one, you'll click, or you'll spin it counterclockwise. So I'm gonna reset and start over, all right? I'm going to go to my original ratio, which is a three to two ratio, and I'm going to just tighten it up a little bit, like that, I think. And then I'm going to straighten it with the level. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click over here, draw across to over there. 
that straighten. I like it. I'm going to click apply. And that's how fast you could be in and out of the crop tool. So it's really very easy to use and very effective. And I was actually going to lump the crop tool into another video, like when I'm doing an effect or something in the effects module. But I get a lot of questions from people. They're, they're trying to print their image and they're losing pixels because they're using a freeform crop, trying to print to like a specific size paper that that freeform crop doesn't print to perfectly. Or they're using a ratio that isn't the same ratio as the paper they're using. For instance, they're trying to print a 2 to 3 ratioed image onto an 8 by 10 paper. You're going to lose 2 inches on the horizontal side when you do that. So that's why they're you know, losing it when they're printing this um, uh, borderless prints. So I thought I'd devote this entire episode to the crop tool. I know we're kind of crawling around along, but hopefully going slow like this helps you better learn the application. In our next episode, we're going to start getting to it into effects. And I'm going to talk about the three or four most common effects filters that you'll use on probably almost every image you process with On One Photo Raw 2019. Thank you for watching my free video training on On One Photo Raw 2019. Please do me a favor and like and share this video. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And in the description below this video, you'll see ways that you could help me keep making free photography how-to videos. Finally, visit my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. There, you'll find over 900 videos and articles to help you with your photography. And of course, they're all free. Thank you.